It is often said that a dream can always come true no matter how entangled life can be. It is a mantra that some of the youth in Kibera's Lainisaba live by and the teacher who dedicates her life's lessons to teaching them some of the simple things that we often take for granted. She knows she has been there. I've gone through a rape ordeal and I live with a dual diagnosis of epilepsy and bipolar. And just, uh, yes, uh, the epilepsy I got one year before I got raped, but the bipolar came because of the rape ordeal. I care because I wish someone cared back then and did something, even if it's just giving me hope, even if it's just telling their story on TV or on a newspaper or um, somewhere that one day I would read and say, oh cool, I can actually make it through. Mental health remains close to her heart ever since she was raped at the age of 18, an ordeal that left her depressed, even dropping out of university in second year, where she was taking actuarial science. With rising medical bills and a condition that was complicating life, Sitawa chose to play with words. I used to write a lot. So, um, and for me, one thing I used to tell myself is every day I open a new page, it's like a new lease of life. So writing really helps me and, and I, I progress that into poetry and into blogging and it's just become a nice organic thing that is now something I'm passing on to the students I have here. Mercy! In this hall in Kibera's Lainisaba, she masses herself in a topic that has remained taboo for most. Mental health and epilepsy are often misunderstood often misinterpreted, yet these conditions are not as far away from you as you may think. My cousin, alikuwa naanguka, so watu wa umu wanasema ni uchawi, waka mpeleka ocha, wakaenda waka angalia ndani ndani, kina nindani, ki, ki uchawi yani, one, ni kitu amerushiwa ama nini, so wakaenda wakapata, badu waka, unajuku kukenda, maybe ule mtu anataka kula pesa. Hata kwa ambia ni hivi na hivi na hivi. So venye walikuja tena ikakuwa badu ni mgonjo tena kapele kwa usi. Tena kaenda. Venye alifanyo scanning ndi walikuja kujua ni epilepsy. It is such misconceptions and societal biases that Sitawa says that have shaped her resolve to continue reaching out. So now we'll look at what the first aid for epilepsy is. Yes, Do not put anything inside the mouth of the victim. She passes the knowledge that she has acquired to them, basic information about the management of bipolar and epilepsy, conditions that she continues to manage. Epilepsy is a neurological or brain disorder that makes one prone to seizures. Sitawa has learned over the years to sense when she's about to get a convulsion. There's something called an aura. So an aura is when you feel it coming and if, you, if you've learned your body then you can, you can tell it's, it's, it's going to come. So most of the time when I feel it and I'm in public I'll, I'll try to get somewhere to sit or to lie down and uh, just see who, because especially if I'm among strangers, I'll see who looks a little bit friendly and tell them okay this is how I'm feeling and I might fall down and this is what um, you should do. Uh, and then the other times, uh, the friendly looking guy can be the person who helps you carry your bag and goes and goes with it forever. So, yeah, so those are risks. Oh, but, um, really? Has it ever yeah, I've lost my phone like twice or thrice. Yeah. When she's not dedicating her time to the youth in Kibera, Sitawa is punching away. Kibera group. Writing some more. Her blog, My Mind, My Funk, is an information and support hub that helps people with mental health conditions access vital information and support. And for her time and the blog, she has been awarded. Yeah, so I won East Africa Philanthropy Awards and then later, towards the end of last year, I won um, Activist of the Year, Malaika Trust, yes. And then uh, this year I won the Google uh, Africa Connected um, competition and that, that was like really big for me. Sitawa Wafula's parting shot. The more I get to new platforms and the more people go, you don't know us, 
why are you telling us all these things about yourself? Then it, 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 it makes me feel that more of these stories need to be told. And more so, as I put them, positive African mental health narratives. Because I am not ashamed of the things that I have, like um, the epilepsy and bipolar. I'm not ashamed of, of that. For Citizen Weekend, I am Anne Mawathe.